Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, all the time I look to see if I have gotten any comments, um, regardless of what kind of comment it is. At a point, this was about a month ago, I tried ignoring it, um, but kept thinking about it so I figured my answer. Said comment, you won't find it on the channel anymore because it was removed, edited, but then removed. Um, there was a comment that asked, what kind of, is this supposed to be like a blank type of channel or a gaming channel? I say blank because I actually honestly don't remember the details of what it was anymore. My memory is not the best, but I do remember it was asking something other than gaming. So, in all reality, uh, let me go ahead and kind of clarify my thoughts on this. First of all, I can definitely confirm it's definitely a gaming channel based off the video you'll see later today. Uh, and, you know, the second video every single day I upload, which is literally every single day. But also, yeah, it's a gaming video channel, but... What about the other half? I upload two videos every single day. Have been for a while. And half of those, half of the content in general because of that is gaming. But what about the other half and why? Because originally, this channel was a gaming channel. Exclusively gaming. But First of all, what is the other half? And second of all, why the other half? First of all, the other to answer the what? Vlogging. Or live discussion of some sort. I feel like ever since I, I it was an experiment at first. But it was an experiment that got so much good feedback when it first activated that I was like, you know what? Why the heck not? Um, and quite honestly, since that happened, I think it was about a year ago now. I might be wrong. I don't know. I literally have to look at my videos to find out. But since that point in time, I realized that a lot of people, and those who don't enjoy the gaming videos, the second ones of each day, end up liking the live videos. Like this one. Um, for me specifically, I personally enjoy the gaming ones more because, well, it depends on the video. Some of them make me laugh, but I also like these for the for the specific purpose that it solemnly allows me, it allows me to solemnly contemplate what was going through my head at the point in time. Like right now, if I were to look back at this video, um, I'd be like, I'm kind of glad I explained this because it puts a little bit more clarity out. Uh, or some of the other discussion rants, like the one you guys saw yesterday, newer or older, uh, which is which is better to use, and. As, I'm as I was discussing it, if I were to, and I've already done this for review purposes, but if I were to go back to watch that again, um, I'd probably be nodding a lot of it, and if I ever, I ever were to change aspect or thought on it, I'd be like, eh, probably not as of, you know, whenever it might be. But the fact of the matter is one way or the other, I enjoy both. And the fact that both get enough good feedback, in my opinion, I do both of them. And you know what? I'm happy about it. This channel, yes, may have started as a gaming channel, but that comment that was given to me that I spoke of at the beginning of this video, one thing, you could kind of tell that the person did does not watch YouTube often, or at least doesn't watch variety 
channels. Which is what I'm trying to allow this channel to be. This channel is, in a sense, a variety channel. I have yet to add more skits to it, if I even kept the ones that were I don't know, I had to delete a lot recently. About two months ago I think it has been now, maybe a month and a half, something like that. I removed a bit because there was a lot going on at the time that just didn't help make sense to keep the stuff on. I don't know if there are going to be skits in the future or not. Uh, probably at some point, if it gets to the point where I feel like it definitely would work, I definitely have the money, blah blah blah, cause stuff like that. Um, but regardless, I will say this much at least. It doesn't take much effort to go, I am going to try to add certain things to make more people enjoy this. Because not everybody enjoys gaming. I've noticed those who don't usually like those who interact with them. That's what I've tried to do amongst the whole discussion and rants about me um, and about me videos. Those who don't enjoy those, there are some people out there who enjoy educational type videos, which is where History Talk came in. Um, it was an idea. I want, it was started kind of as a discussion around, but I was, as I was like going through my first take of the first episode, I was like, you know what? I can make something else out of this. Instead, out came History Talk. And I liked the outcome. Um, it does get some, it has gotten some backlash for mispronunciation, but that's just because I've never been good with history, and, well... Some things are just ridiculously spelled so far different from how it's pronounced that you would think, why? Regardless, I'm trying to find different ways to make this channel work in a sense where I don't have to change too much, but still match the eye of many of those out there who if they don't like one thing, they can see another. This is what I consider a variety channel, um, which I do take, I, a lot of people who are gamers nowadays actually do end up doing this, and I take inspiration from those for that, especially so I can appease an audience of some kind if they don't like being an audience of a different kind. Now the ideas on this, that, that should cover the question of what kind of channel is this? It's a variety channel. But why? Why did it become a variety channel and not just stay as a gaming one? So, when this all started, when I started actually doing a variety, um, it was two moves prior to where I'm living now. Um, I had been discussing a couple things with um, D9, or Danny, and the things he was doing in his live streams at the point in time was part of the lives, a large chunk of the live stream was just to talk, be motivational. And I got so inspired by that that I started doing that in the form that I do, the nostalgic form, vlogs. I had a hard time picking a topic at the moment, and since it was my first, I went online to see what was kind of on a lot of people's minds, and at the point in time, it was a, uh, a threatened letter that was written to another YouTuber. Uh, the video is technically still on this channel, but if you were to watch it now, it'd be like, it, it would be kind of out of context, but I'm not going to remove it because it is, as I said before, a way for me to solemnly remember how things were at the point in time and what was going through my head. Um, all I remember from that is it was a different David's mother was trying to threaten this YouTuber for being toxic even though it was somebody who was trying to make as close to uh, user-friendly content as possible for his own beliefs. It was something that he didn't deserve. That however is a very far in the past thing. But it's good to look back on. So I kept it. And after the 
constant love that I kept getting from uh, D9's constant uh, channel members, that's when I started doing it frequently, to an everyday basis like I do now. And yes, since then I have done quite a few more things. For example, recently, about a couple weeks ago, I did an upload of me doing a quiz. Uh, said quiz actually did involve gaming, but it was music. It was to see how well I knew gaming music compared to the actual games. And I knew I was going to fail. Also part of the hiccuping. But it made it fun. It was a different thing. It allowed variety. And I do plan on doing more of that in the future as well. Um, to keep a larger variety. Because at that point I would have discussion things like this uh, about me stuff where I talk about like different aspects of my life that have happened in the past or when I talk about myself and a personal situation and how I am or piss more history talk. You can definitely bet on more of that. And scattered, more drives with Dave and Amber. We've had three of them so far. You can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to do more. Um, now, points of some of the... Points of that, the first two that... The about me and discussion rants, that's just kind of a core start and shows that I do want to show live re things to show that I'm not always doing what the second video shows. And to emphasize it more, that's where the drives of Dave and Amber came in. It, I did it off of the instinct that I wanted to show how much time I like spending with my, as of this recording fiance, but as of a year from now, wife. And those don't happen a lot, but I do spend a lot of time with her, as it shows in half of, like, quite a few of the gaming videos. Um, originally, the one you guys see in, later on was supposed to originally have her in it, but OBS was being a butt, so. But I digress. Um, so that's the whole idea for a drive with Dave and Amber. The, that series. There are not many, and we are planning ma on making many more. But what about history talk? Why history talk? I have never been the kind of person to like history in general. It always put me to sleep in school. Whenever somebody would bring it up, I'd be like, can we talk about something else? So why? Well, there are select topics that I actually don't mind. As long as I can relate myself to them. For example, History talk number... Um, which one was it? I don't remember which history talk it was, but it was about the Celtic... I think it's actually... I pronounced this wrong during it, but I think the proper way to say it... And this was... Big shout out to Alicia... Alicia... I can't speak right now. Shout out to Alicia Shepard for pointing this out, but... The actually I have it on my phone. I have YouTube Studio on my phone. But I believe it is the Great Celt the Celtic Great of Sawin, I think is actually how you say it. The way it's written though is just not even close to that. Because and this is not a history talk video at all. It's just kind of me talking about like why I do all this kind of stuff. Why I do a variety outside of gaming. Because, well, my whole life isn't... My life is not a video game. Let's see, am I pronouncing it right? Not that one. Uh... The... Yeah, the Celtic Great of Samhain. Yes, okay, I did say that right that time. The way it's pronounced, it, it looks... First of all, Celtic is spelled with a C, apparently, instead of a K. And it's like... Celtic? Which makes sense, given the time era. But the... Event itself was a festival. And the festival itself is S-A-M-H-A-I-N. That's not how you spell Samhain. Ever. So I kind of assumed. 
But that is main, the main reason why it took so long to add in the history things. History, the main reason I started it, actually, was because history is nostalgic. I mean, it, nostalgia bases off the past. What the heck is history? It's something that bases off the past. And if I'm going to constantly call my channel nostalgic, I have to focus on nostalgic things, like the later games. Not all nostalgia is good, but that's why it's discussed. However, because of this, no kid is going... The reason I consider my channel not for kids... Let's take one of the games I do, for example. Mega Man. The original Mega Man. First of all, no kid would ever want to play that game. They would get so upset real quick. Second, it was a game built in the 80s. For heaven's sake, technically I wasn't even alive yet, and I played those. It's stuff like that. Little details like that, where I'm like, this nostalgia will kick in for things like that. In my mind, nostalgia builds pretty much up until about maybe 3-4 years prior to the exact time. So, anything prior to 3 or 4 years ago, you'll see on this channel. But, that wouldn't exactly apply to people, would it? Actually, yeah. Maybe multiply it, maybe make it like a decade or more ago instead. Because people who are considered historical, or who make history, aren't really considered that until a specific point in time. Ten year mark. At the very closest, in my mindset. So, the core off of the original question, what kind of channel is it? Variety? Why? Why did I choose to stray from the original? Because I want to... My original idea for this channel, yes, gaming is the first thing that came to my mind to do it because it emphasizes on the aspect that what I wanted to build this channel around, nostalgia fit the most, especially knowing my mind, but the reason I do a variety, specifically for me, I varietize because I made this channel to either entertain or create a type of journal to show how my personal life lays out. As far as I know, YouTube isn't going anywhere. The platform's probably going to be here for who knows how long, as long as Google's around, YouTube's around. And Google just keeps growing. So does YouTube, when you think about it. It's not too far away at this point, either. If it's video-related, people search Google but end up getting pulled up on YouTube. If it's not, it's on Google specifically. One way or the other, though. Because of this. Because I was so late to the party. It's not as noticeable. But that is why... I do a variety. That's why I varietize and create different options. Because I do it for the sake of trying to... Yes, I want to entertain. That is something I've wanted to do for quite some time. And YouTube gave me the opportunity to do it through a way that I know I know how to do it best. And not only, over time, not only did that become a, a desire of mine to just entertain, but to reason whether with my mind or another. There is a reason why at the end of every live video, I ask you guys to give me an option. Give me different topics to talk about, whether for a history talk or for a discussion rant. I ask for these things because of the fact that I know for a fact that if I reach out to others, they might get a little bit interested in what I what is being shown, what I show, and that's kind of something that I feel like would benefit me. I've always been a good listener, and, or at least the people who I know I listen to, 
And if I do miss out on something, it's not intentional. I mean, a good a good example of this was a recent... Um, so recently, a good ex the good example I'm going to give is actually for the 500 uh, milestone that was done a couple weeks ago. Maybe two and a half by now. Um, but Or as of this recording, at least. By the time you guys see this, it's probably going to be more than that. I don't know. Anyway, in that video, someone made a comment, suggested something. That suggestion, because I requested, I said if you guys had any re requests for any challenges for milestone videos, let me know. The person actually suggested something that I had no idea about. I got curious, looked it up, and I was like, you know what, sure, that'd be a lot of fun. I'm not going to say what it was. But, I liked the idea. And whether it's the next milestone, which will be a thousand, as of this recording, or the milestone after that, which, at this point, who knows? Which will probably be 1500, actually, knowing the pattern I go at. It'll be one of those two, but it'll definitely be on the channel. I take these things into consideration. Every single person who has asked me to talk about something, I have. Every game that has been requested, either have in process of planning to play, or I have already played it, or am playing it now. A good example of the gaming ones, Devil May Cry. That was suggested to me by Aaron, and he said that, hey, it could get a good view count, because he loves Devil May Cry. It's one of his favorite series. Um, and it does get a lot of view counts for those who, you know, do it, but those who usually do it have higher sub counts as well, so it's a no-brainer that they would. However, the request was still taken into consideration, and I played it, along with considering all the other four DMC games. And maybe the non-canon one. Probably not, but we'll see. Same goes for Mega Man, that is actually being playing played as of right now on the channel. By the time you guys see this, maybe it'll be gone, long gone, or maybe not. I don't know. But, I guess, and some other suggestions. God of War. I started playing God of War at the request of multiple individuals, actually. Another good example, Pokemon. Pokemon is one series that has been requested amongst a certain category of individuals. I haven't gotten to it yet, but it is on my list, and I do plan on doing it soon. Although, which one I'm still trying to debate. So that's why it's taking a bit of time. I do have certain reasons for it, and I do have a long list of different things that I want to do. If I can't decide, it'll probably end up being one that's on the Switch. Just because that's the simplest way of going about it, and I've owned those for a while anyway. But I digress. What about stuff outside the game? Who has suggested what as far as live stuff goes? The Dave and Amber stuff actually came as a request, originally came as a request from Amber herself. Uh, she wanted, she wanted to be, you know, spend time with me. And I was like, you know what, I do have a vlog to do, but you know what? I can just do it based off the conversation if you're okay with that. She was like, yeah. Ever since that, she has popped in more and more on this channel. The first thing she showed up on was actually Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury, an episode that was called Dorphins. Um, I think she was trying to, she was trying to say a different word, but she said that instead. Um, since then, she has appeared more and more, and she will be a consistent on here. She is technically the channel's manager as of now. Uh, she helps me. I technically own it, but she helps me manage it. But I, again, I keep straying off the topic, so I apologize for that, but what is another good live example? Well, how about the About Me series in general? Those don't come from nothing. People have wondered things about me, and nowadays, if I'm willing to answer that, I'll post it on YouTube, and I'll say, look at this video, because normally... When I explain it in person, it takes a long time, but if I do it on here, it if it does take a long time, it's just probably because it's a long explanation. 
Like right now we're around the 25 minute mark, but I just feel like it's necessary to explain like why, like where all this variety came from or why is it here? Why did I personally decide to do it? And yes, my end goal is to entertain, but there are different ways to explain that term. Yeah, I would love to entertain people in a comedic way through the gaming videos, and honestly through a couple skits. In fact, Aaron and Amber and I have talked about doing skits a lot. We would discuss it, but it would never be put into action entirely. However, what about anything else? Well, in other terms of entertainment, technically what I'm doing now can be considered that. Because it's entertaining the mind. In a sense where it's like layout, beginning to end kind of statement. An explanation can be considered entertainment in a sense, but not in this type that people categorize as entertainment normally. It still is entertaining the mind because it's sidetracking. But that's a topic for a different day. Something I really should talk about though. I do this because I feel like it just matches. But that's just kind of how I feel about it. I don't know if it does for everyone, and every now and then I do get a random dislike on here, which is fine. Not everyone, not everyone enjoys everything. But for the most part, I know what I'm doing is pretty cut and dry and it's pretty obvious. I think I just felt it might be a good idea to respond to the comment that no longer exists. Why is my channel a variety? Because I feel like it's best for my type of work. That's the short answer of what I was just explaining, pretty much. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on this kind of thing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as I said earlier, if you got any suggestions for anything, just let me know, know down there as well. I'm willing to take into consideration. Eventually, I'd probably end up getting to it anyway, as long as it's not political or religious. Um, regardless, yeah. Want to check out any other discussion and rants like this longer one uh, that I have done? Most of them are actually pretty short, but want to check that out? Click the link on the side of my head. Or if you're more interested in anything else that might be on the channel outside of that, the other side will probably help out. Don't think either works for you? Why not check out the channel itself? Maybe you'll find some more uh, luck in finding something you enjoy there. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later. Or not. Or I'm stuck here. I don't like my computer sometimes. <laughs>